I didn't say hi, I was just rolling. But, um, <laughs> what's up? It's me, it's your girl. She's here, she's back again, y'all know. Um, I'm about to go to the club. My whole body hurts. That's why I'm about to smoke weed right now, cause like this is, like I can't handle my back pain right now. Period. Okay, so I'm about to start getting ready because my hair is not even done. I just made it look like acceptable because I was not about to look that crazy in front of the fucking camera, like, you know. Oh, I didn't even wet my beauty blender. Yo, am I okay? I feel like I'm dying. My energy is off. Y'all probably like, yo, sis is good. Sis is not good, bro. Hell of a Um. Yo. Oh my god, it looks so yellow on camera. <laughs> it looks crazy yellow on camera, bro. Y'all probably like, girl. Why you putting pee pee on your face? <laughs> Yellow ass foundation on camera, bro. But I'm getting any now. I know you heard it. Yo, this song is stuck in my head, bro. Yo, am I the only one with a fucking like 20,000 water bottles in my apartment, bro? There's water bottles everywhere in my fucking crib. I'm over it. Like, where the bottle come from? Like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about, to be honest. <laughs> like, Someone asked me on Instagram to talk about my friends. I don't have any. Stop asking me about that. <laughs> I know a lot of people though, and a lot of people know me. It's like people know who I am, and I'm not gonna say I'm famous, nothing, or like that. I'm somebody or nothing. I'm just saying like some people in my city I'm talking about, they know me and all that, and it's just like. But y'all not my friends, though. Y'all not, like, somebody I could say I can count on you. I can, like, have your back. You have my back type shit. And I've been fucked over. Like, so many shorties fuck me over, bro. So many niggas, too. But so many shorties fuck me over. Like, I am not befriending nobody soon, like, for real. Because people love to play me, like. Like, I'm about to tattoo on my forehead, play me, dead ass, because this is how y'all feel. Oh, okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. Um, but yeah, also, I put way too much. Oh, God, Jesus, Lord, Jesus. Lord, Jesus, please help. Okay. Lord is like, bitch, there's people dying, like. <laughs> uh, who the fuck is Lord? Why did I say Lord like, like the singer, <laughs> you know? Oh my God, how am I gonna fix this? Where is my eyebrow out here? Okay, so someone asked me if I ever did like shrooms, LSD, stuff like that. Um, never. I've never done like drugs like that. I've done like Molly and shit like that. Like I've done like 
party drugs, but I've never done like, like I've done Percocet. Like, I, oh, why am I? I'm really out here. Let me stop talking. Like, girl, why are you exposing myself? Anyways, I have never touched a drug in my life. Someone asked me to do, well, one of my friends told me to talk about this one time that I batched in high school. And, yo, <coughs> if you went to my high school, you know this story. That shit was low-key, like, <coughs> scary as fuck. I'm gonna try to make it short, though, because I talk too much. But, like... How old was I, bro? I was like 14 or something. Like I was hella young. I was, <clears throat> I was smoking weed back then too. And yo, this weed this nigga gave me. Basically, there was this little guy that had a little crush on me or whatever, and he was also like a dealer and something like that. And almost every Friday, me and my best friend, the, you know the girl that um. If y'all watched my reacting to my old YouTube videos, the girl that was doing the fucking bird sounds, that's what y'all say she was doing, them, them bird sounds in that video, that's her. Me and this girl, we used to get fucking lit every weekend when we were at that age too, like when we were like 14, 15, all that. I knew that this little guy that had a little thing for me was selling some weed. So I was like, bro, I'm gonna get some weed for Friday turn up all that and she was like bet i'm gonna get the alcohol all that we all planned this shit like she was getting the alcohol i was getting the weed so i text little tyrone and i'm like tyrone like i need some weed and he was like all right like i'll give you some but let's smoke together at lunch tomorrow and I was like, but my basketball game tomorrow. <laughs> if y'all don't know this this reference, don't talk to me. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Cause what am I doing? Oh my makeup. Um, Tyrone. What was Tyrone doing? Oh, he said, come smoke with me at lunch tomorrow. And I was like, bet. Cause even then, I had my lunch. And then I had to go see a play. So I didn't have to go to school after. So I was like, man, fuck it. Let's get high, you know what I'm saying? So me and Tyrone ended up smoking um, that lunch. And I don't know what we he gave to me, but that should have me motherfucking tweaking, child. Because, and when we were walking back, back to school, Tyrone was talking to me like Tyrone was like, blah, 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 you know, like talking about his mama. I remember he he was talking about his mama at one point. Tyrone, I don't know what's going on. I'm bad tripping at this point. I'm walking back to school high as fuck. Like, <sighs> and then when we get to the entrance of the school, Tyrone goes his way and I go my way. And I'm by myself, motherfucking tripping balls. And I'm like, child. And then I started to get hungry, but I was still bad tripping. But I was getting hungry. I, I was getting the munchies. Y'all don't, it don't happen to y'all. Like, y'all don't really, like, get the munchie. Like, y'all bad tripping low-key. Like, y'all like, Ugh. but at the end of the day, you hungry. So your goal is to eat. That was my goal. My dumb ass, instead of, like, be like, okay, yo, fuck it. Like, just go to the bathroom. Make sure you're good. Like, like make sure, like, you're not paranoid anymore. I was like, child. I need to go to the motherfucking locker room and get my motherfucking lunch. <laughs> I went to the lockers and I forgot my combination to open my locker. I was like, huh? like I didn't like I didn't remember what two plus two was. Like numbers don't work in my head when I'm high, you know. <laughs> oh, I started crying. I started crying, child. I was like, no, like. What the fuck is numbers for Bill? Like, I was really like, I don't understand what combinations are. And I'm fucking hungry and I'm bad tripping, low key can't breathe type shit, you know? So at this point, I'm crying. And my locker neighbor sees me and she's like, sis, you good? And I'm just like, I am not. I am not. I am going to die. I don't know what's going on. I don't know my name. So, no. 
so I started crying for real. Like in my head, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just scared. Like, help me, please, Jesus Christ. Jesus was like, sorry, call later because I'm busy. Like, Jesus was doing his thing, but he was not helping me, that's for sure. So, at this point, I'm like, um, I'm dying, help. So, the girl brings me to the motherfucking bedroom. But while we go into the bathroom, we cross my squad. Because, like I said, I was by myself. So, while on my way there, I see the girls that I, I was always hanging out with these girls back in the day. Like, these were my, these were my besties, like, and they laughing kiki and then they looking at me like because i look like i'm tripping i'm like crying i'm hysterical so at this point they don't think it's funny no more so they're like girl what is you going through like you was good and i start throwing up they're like oh sis is not good like we need to go to the bathroom so these girls start adding to the group and then i see other people because like i said i know people People know me, but I, they're just not my friends. But like, everybody was like, oh, is Jane okay, is Jane okay? So then everybody like, there were probably like 15 shorties behind me waiting to go to the bathroom with me. And I was like, excuse me, uh, privacy, like. <laughs> I'm hella annoying, but for real, like most of these girls were fake anyways. Like, why are you worried about me? You were not worried about me when you was talking shit though. Like, talking about, is she good? She's good. Worry about your motherfucking grades, sis. <laughs> nah, I have beef with so many people from high school, but but it's not beef. Like I'm not worried about them like that. But it's just like I don't like these people. Like fake ass bitches, fake ass niggas. Like for real, niggas I don't really care. But bitches is crazy. They will attack you for no reason. But anyways, at that time, they were worried about a bitch, I guess. And they were coming to the bathroom. And now 15 bitches is in the bathroom. Like, excuse me. Here comes the fucking soccer coach coming in the bathroom. And this nigga is like, I heard Jane is not okay. Um, yes, she is. Mind your motherfucking business. Jane is always good. They will never see me lacking, nigga. Bruh, homeboy talking about... The, the principal is on his way like y'all need to mind y'all business like who the fuck snitched like probably these 15 bitches yelling in the fucking hallway snitched dummies this way so then while everything was going on there was like this art teacher this art teacher she come in the bathroom she's like is she okay because i lowkey couldn't breathe and couldn't see anything and i looked crazy i looked on crack to be honest and she's like, is she okay? And I'm just like crying or that. I'm thinking about how much of a dumb bitch I am. And then here comes my best, like my best friend. Here comes this bitch. Cause this whole time, my best friend is nowhere to be, like nowhere to be found. This bitch gonna come in the bathroom drunk as fuck off of the liquor that we're supposed to drink on the weekends. She, Pull up to the bathroom, cry hysterically, drunk as fuck, clearly could smell the alcohol when she was talking to me. And she's like, oh my God, I heard you die, girl. I'm like, sis, why is you drunk? I started really like, I started to get back to my senses because I was like, this bitch is really like drunk as fuck. Like in school, like get up. So then the soccer coach gonna come back with the principal and then the principal gonna be like okay i'm gonna need all of you bitches gone like because these 15 bitches were still there like yeah jd 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 bitch fuck you but after that he said one bit like only one bitch can stay and of course that's just my best friend like girl but this bitch is still drunk and then he said before everybody leaves because everybody's like getting ready to leave and then the soccer coach like, oh, by the way, we called your parents. They're on their way. G on their way? They're on their way to kill me. Call the police. Call the police. There will be a murder here. Call the police. <laughs> I, my I was like, call the police. 
call 911 right now. Do you want to this on your campus? You that. So call the motherfucking police. Because shit about to go down. Like they about to call the like you might as well call the motherfucking cops on me, child. Like I'd rather go to jail than deal with my parents right now. High as fuck, bad tripping. And like he told them like what was going on. He told them because they found out from snitches and bitches like that I was high. And they told my parents I was high as fuck. And my parents, not my dad, but my mom knew I smoked. But she didn't want me to smoke. She still doesn't want me to smoke. But listen, I'm my own goddamn person. But they really called my parents. I was stressed the fuck out. So they take us, me and my drunk ass best friend, me who's bad tripping, her who's drunk as fuck. They um they take us to the nurse's office and I'm about to go there. I'm about to enter. And I see my mama sitting in the motherfucking no. Like I was literally like, take me to jail. Don't make me go in there. Take me to jail right now. Take me to maximum security prison. Please. Like, I'd rather go there. Like, <laughs> you know? Especially with my dad, bro. I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. Like, I was so stressed out. And my mama's not even looking at me. Like, she's looking to the ground like this. But you can low-key see she's, she, she saw me get in. She saw me, like, looking dumb. She saw my drunk-ass best friend, like... And she's just there, like, look at this dumb ass bitch that I gave birth to, like, dead ass. I could, like, I could feel the disappointment in her breath. Like, she was like, <sighs> people ask me where I get my lashes. Listen, I don't know the exact number of any of, like, the lashes that I um, use. But I can tell y'all what company they're from. Th these are, like, the three lash, like, $3 lashes from um, the hair store. That's what I'm telling y'all. Like, it ain't nothing serious. It's by La Flair. Okay, La Fleur. Did I finish the story? Oh no, I didn't. But anyways, I was still crying in the nurse's office. My mama is breathing mad loud just to make sure I, I know she's disappointed. My, be my best friend is drunk as fuck and we talking. Cause my mama was not like right next to us. She was like on the other side of the nurse's office and she didn't want to talk to me. And um, so my best friend is like whispering to each other and all that. The paramedics come in they're fucking talking shit like i don't know what the fuck they were going on they were trying to make jokes with me i'm like i am dying my mama is about to kill me like what do you want from me you know after that the paramedics left and it was just me and my best friend talking shit and we we're just talking because i was calming down a little bit at that point hmm. so at this point she was like bruh what's going on with you and your crush and i'm like bruh like because my crush at the time was my best friend like my guy best friend and i was like oh like you know i don't know how to tell him i love him like i'm a little stressed out she was like girl like you need to tell him i was like i know i miss him like we were supposed to see a play right now together we were supposed to be sitting next to each other and she was like yo girl let me go get him because the play was going on in the school and he was watching the play because he was in my class. So I was supposed to be with him, but I was bad tripping. She went and got the motherfucking nigga. She went and got the motherfucking nigga, like. And she brought him to the nurse's office. Reminder, she is drunk as shit. She went inside the motherfucking place where the play was going on. She opened a door in the middle of the play, was looking around, like she was like, looking for my crush and brought him to the nurse's office 
we were 14 years old, y'all. Like, there's really no reason. There's really, like, no reason why the fuck all of that was going on. You know what I'm saying? So, still, I was high as fuck still, but I wasn't really... Like, I wasn't really high like that, like, anymore. He got here. He brought me to my dad. And then my parents... I left with my, both of my parents. Um, they didn't speak to me for, like, three weeks, bro. My mama didn't speak to me forever. Like, I didn't know one word out of her mouth. Like, I really almost, like... I thought she was going to beat my ass, but... I think she was just over it. Because at that point in my life... and. With my relationship with my mom, it was really bad. Like, we didn't talk to each other. We didn't care about each other. Like, it's not that we didn't care about each other, but it was just like, you know what I'm saying? It was like, is it even worth fighting for this little dumb bitch? That's what she was thinking about me. Like, she's like, is it even worth doing all that for this bitch? Like, she's doing this dumb shit. So, I think she was over it at that point. I feel like getting the silent treatment is low-key worse than getting your ass beat, to be honest. But... That's just me. But yeah. And I ended up dating my crush a week later. So he ended up being my little boyfriend. Oh, that's a real bad. Now this nigga ugly as fuck. <laughs> like I would never have a crush on you now, nigga. Huh? Yeah, Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. Um, I'm trying to show y'all the full fit. <laughs> I'm gonna fall, but these are my jeans. They're ripped. Okay, I'm coming down. <laughs> um, show y'all. Y'all can sign and show y'all, but. Um, that's gonna be it for the end of the video. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Period. Okay, bye. <laughs>